Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Friday, August 16, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX, we have a neutral reading on August with 22% of the total premiums paid, bearish readings on September and October with 36% of the total premiums paid on each. Overall, we have a bearish dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX. Going to the charts here, we have the SPX chart here, we have the daily one and you can see we're barely closing at the 50 day moving average. I am pretty bullish here, I, like, I think we're uh, due for a pop either Monday or Tuesday. If we do fall on Monday, I would get longer here for SPX. So I'm bullish here. Going to the Qs, today we were basically flat. As you can see here, down 0.03% for the day. Not much going on. We do have kind of a reversal, but nothing uh, to worry about. And then if we go to IWM, here we have the Russell 2000 ETF, 0.42% down for the day. Still holding on to that 50-day moving average. If I would play this rally, I would play it via SPX or SPY. Going to the metals, here we have the daily chart for gold, up 0.68% for the day, now trading at 132.60 interesting level here as you know I would get short at 135 you look here we are right now at almost at the 100 day moving average that's gonna be some type of support also of resistance I'm neutral here would like to get entry short above that level for silver pretty much the same very neutral here so not touching it here at all let's go now to stocks here we have the daily chart for Apple up 0.9% for the day, you can see it here, it continues to move higher, I'm looking for a new move higher to the 520 level on next week, so I'm very bullish here for Apple, volume has come in very nicely, and we do have the rumor of the new iPhone, going to Google, we were bearish in Google, we continue to be bearish in Google, we still have a little bit more down to go for it, to find some type of support, Netflix, today we were up to 2.15% for the day, you know, I'm bullish on Netflix, looking for to get long on a new high here, on uh, 270.32 is the level I would start getting long. Last chart we're going to look at is Goldman Sachs, here we have the daily chart for Goldman, basically flat today, again at the 50 day moving average, going to be important to see what the financials do around this 50 day.